In my previous video, I programmed Arduino Mega connected to an Ethernet shield as a DHT11 web server using HTTP protocol. The downside of this model is the continuous auto refresh of the web page in order to reflect any changes in temperature and humidity values. In this video, Arduino is programmed as a DHT11 web server using Ajax technology for real-time asynchronous communications. Ajax is a web technology that provides asynchronous communication between the client and the server by using both JavaScript and XML data format. JavaScript functions are used to send and receive data without any page refresh of the web page. This creates better, faster, and more interactive web applications. This block diagram compares a traditional web model that uses only HTTP and a model that uses AJAX. In the traditional web model, the client browser will request a web page by sending an HTTP request, and the web server will respond by loading the whole page and sending an HTTP response and the web page is displayed on the browser. To see any changes on the web page, the browser has to be refreshed by resending the whole page to the browser. This is not an efficient way for a two-way communications. In the Ajax web model, the client browser will request a web page from the server by sending the HTTP request and the web server will respond by sending the web page to the browser. This is done only once, so page loading is only done once on the Ajax model. To change the data on the web page through the user interface, a Java function call will be executed and through the Ajax engine or interface, an HTTP request is sent to the web server and the web server will update the content and send an HTTP response via an XML uh, data type to the Ajax engine and the content is then reflected on the user interface. So in other words, to see or to reflect any changes on the web page, no refreshing of the web page is required. A block diagram of the implemented system is shown here. The Ethernet shield is connected to the Arduino Mega and the DHT11 sensor is connected to digital pin D23. Displayed on a web browser, the DHT11 sensor temperature and humidity values, which are updated every two seconds without any page refresh using Ajax technology. A quick look at the C++ sketch used in this project. Some parts of the code were explained in my previous video. Here I will focus only on part of the code related to Ajax technology. Inside the loop function we create object client that will be associated with the server. If the client is available and it's connected to the uh, server and the client is requesting data then we get the HTTP request from the client character by character and store it in this uh, string variable HTTP request. Next we check whether we have reached the end of the uh, HTTP request from the client. If so, then we check whether we have an AJAC request or we have a request for a whole page load. As mentioned earlier, the client will first request the loading of the page so the else will be executed and here we will call this function HTML web page in order to create the uh, HTML part of the web page and then send this uh, created web page to the client. Within the function HTML web page we will first create the HTTP response header and store it in the string variable web page. Next we will create the web page which is made of HTML and JavaScript with Ajax calls and store it within the string variable web page. Back inside the loop function, this string variable now has the HTML code of the web page. 
we then send this uh, code to the client through this statement. Now if the HTTP request is an AJAX request then the if statement here is executed and this function AJAX request is called and executed. Within function AJAX request we send temperature and humidity values to the client. We also send some text to the client. Once the server is done uh, processing the HTTP request, whether it is a AJAX request or it is a web page loading, the next thing to do is to display on the serial monitor the HTTP request and then reset the HTTP request string so that it is ready for a new request from the client. During the creation of the HTTP request, if the last character sent by the client to the server is the backslash n, then this indicates that we have reached the end of the request and this if statement becomes true and then the requests are executed. Otherwise, this if statement is ignored and the uh, server will check again whether we have reached the end of the request and if so then this statement will indicate that we have reached the end. Otherwise we continue with the buildup of the HTTP request. To create the HTML code with JavaScript I recommend using Visual Studio Code and then copy the code into the C++ sketch. To learn more about HTML programming Please watch my tutorials. Links to these tutorials is available in the video description. The code is split into three parts. We have the CSS part, which is uh, defined between the style tags. And we have the HTML part, which is uh, indicated within the header tags. And we have the JavaScript uh, part which is uh, defined between the script tags. This is the JavaScript part of the code. First we have this function here set interval which will call this function get to DHT11 values every two seconds. Inside function get DHT11 values we will create this variable which will store the XML HTTP request from the client. This request is then sent to the server. The server will then respond by sending the updated content to the client and if the client has received the HTTP response header then the temperature and humidity values will be displayed on the uh, user interface of the web page. Once we have the HTML code written using Visual Studio Code the next step is to go into the uh, C++ sketch and inside function HTML web page. We copy the HTML code line by line and save it into the string variable web page. In conclusion, the AJAX model is a better solution than the conventional HTTP model for displaying continuously changing real-time data.